was a friendly but naive king who wed a very nasty queen. The king was loved, but the queen was feared. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Nemesis, and today we are going to talk about Lily Gao and the character she's playing in the new Resident Evil film, which is Ada Wong. And I said before on a previous episode that uh, I got this information really from Chad Rook's Instagram where he posted a picture um, of everyone who's cast in this movie so far, all the main stars of it. And then we saw Lily Gao at the end, uh, you know, playing as Ada Wong, according to this post that Chad Rook shared. Then I went over to Lily Gao's Instagram page. And uh, and so this is a picture of Lily Gao. And this is, a, you know, an image I saw on her Instagram page. And then I saw like a couple posts later, I saw this image here which is of Ada Wong. And she had like a little post and a comment about playing this iconic character and stuff. And it, it just got me excited to see that we're going to actually have Ada in this movie. And it, it, it started to really make me think about the structure of this movie and the film in general, because we've seen Ada in live action before. Actually, we've seen Chris Redfield, um, Jill Valentine, Claire Redfield, and Leon, um, and Ada, and Wesker, uh, played by two different actors, actually, We've seen them all portrayed in the films before. We've never seen Chief Irons. We've never seen uh, William Birkin, although he's mentioned in the first movie and he's voiced by Jason Isaacs. And I think the plan was to make him William Birkin. But then when they couldn't get Isaacs into the second movie, like a scheduling issue or something, they changed the name of uh, that character. Um, so so it wasn't Birkin anymore. So, so technically we really, I mean, besides Jason Isaacs' little tiny cameo in the first uh, movie, we never really had a Birkin either. And I think Jason Isaacs would have been a great Birkin too, actually. Um, but I'm, I'm, it's great to see, though, because Ada was portrayed in one movie before, same movie as Leon. And I thought, uh, no offense to the actress or the actor who played Leon, but I just thought they were not good. But the whole movie I thought was terrible. Resident Evil Retribution is by far, in my opinion, the worst of all the Resident Evil films. It is so pathetically bad, actually. And you'll see me talk about it because I'm going to go do more audio commentary tracks, like fan commentaries of more movies coming up. We'll talk about the third one and the fourth one probably in January, and we'll probably get to Retribution in the, the final chapter, like sometime in the spring. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, don't like, I do not like Retribution. I don't really like any of the Resident Evil movies, but there are things in some of them that I do like. I don't like anything in Retribution, and Ada Wong being one of them. She ha she's very bland in that movie. She's not an interesting character at all. Um, she just kind of shows up to like uh, recreate scenes from the video game, and then that's it. That's all she does. But Ada is actually a really interesting character. She's one of the few interesting characters in the Resident Evil universe because when you when you play the first couple games, not a lot of characters have arcs. Barry Burton kind of has an arc in the first game, uh, and uh, and I kind of I guess that's it. I guess in the remake, Annette, Annette Birkin kind of has an arc, um, and in the original, I guess she kind of had one too. But most people in those games that you play as are just characters looking for someone or trying to survive. Over here! This way! Simmons. 801. It's been a long time. Not long enough. I see you still like to play games. Old habits. Besides a phone call can be so impersonal. What is it you want? I received some very interesting intel on you, Miss Wong. Intel that will greatly influence your future. Curious. Not in the slightest. I'm just here to find out what you're up to. Then by all means, proceed. And that's it. That's pretty much like, that's it. it. But over time, they start developing characterizations for these characters and backstories and, and connections and stuff. Um, but Ada, from the beginning, has always had a complicated backstory, um, more complicated than all the other characters. She's actually referenced in the very first Resident Evil game. Uh, there's a file that you find in a room 
called uh, John's File or Researcher's Journal or something like that. And in it, it talks about this scientist named John who worked for the Umbrella Corporation and he was dating a woman named Ada. And he was like, you know, I don't know what you see in me, you know, like we, we but we always had fun times together and I really like that we connected and, and everything. And, um, you know, if anything happens to me and if you somehow end up here and you find my body, like make sure I'm dead, like shoot me in the head because I could be infected. I'm infected. Like he's writing his journal as he's mutating into a zombie. And he says, uh, and he's trying to do it all before his, his mind leads him, you know? So he says, you know, the, the password to the computer is your name and the login is my name. And that's something you have to do in the first game. It's a puzzle you got to solve and you figure out that John is the login and Ada is the password. And that helps you unlock some of the rooms in the science lab. So that's, you know, she's been mentioned that early on. And she was actually in Romero's version of his Resident Evil script. I think John and Ada were both in it originally. Um, but it turns out Ada was just with John because she was hired by another company to infiltrate that lab somehow and get a sample of the T-virus. And, uh, and so she used John as a way. They met in Chicago, I think, and, uh, and then they started dating. And then she went and visited him in Raccoon City from time to time. But she was actually just getting close to him because she had a, a mission. That's also her story in the second game when she meets Leon, um, when you find out all this backstory about her. But that's where her character arc comes in in the second game. She is getting up close to Leon because she has a mission to do and she wants to get a sample of the G-Virus. Because at this point, she's working for William Birkin. Uh, William Birkin, she's working for Albert Wesker, sorry. William Birkin, who created the G-Virus, um, but uh, Albert Wesker, who's still secretly alive, uh, hires Ada, as we find out later on in the continuity in the uh, Code Veronica storyline. There was a disc that came out called Wesker's Report. And in that, we learned the truth that um, Wesker was still alive after Res Evil 1, and that he hired Ada to get the G-Virus sample. So... Um, so that's, you know, that's the character is neat. Like she, she started to repeat herself like she did with John. She, she was like, oh, I'm going to get close to this man to get a sample of the, a virus. Now she's doing that with Leon, but in the end, she kind of has a heart and she has a chance to, she aims her gun at Leon and she can shoot him and just take the virus and leave. Look, I'm just doing my job. And I'm doing mine. So drop that damn gun. I'm taking you in. Hand over the sample, Leon. I don't want to hurt you. You shoot me. But I don't think you can. But she can't do it. And that leads into Ada popping up in other video games. She pops up again in Resident Evil 4 um, with Leon. She has her own like side mission called Separate Ways, where she's going around getting samples of um, the Las Plagas uh, thing, the parasite so that she can once again give those to Wesker and work, she works for Wesker again. And then she also shows up in Resident Evil 6 and she has her own storyline in that where she's uh, trying to figure out who's framing her for releasing the C-Virus. Um, so she has a complicated history in the video games. Uh, there, and even in the sixth video game, she fights a clone of herself, um, which is, is pretty awesome. <laughs> um, one of the few things I actually liked about the sixth video game was the Ada storyline and how invested she was to the actual events of the game. Whereas everyone else was once again just trying to survive and stuff, Ada was actually tethered to the villain of the game, uh, both villains of the game, and also the virus itself. And uh, and I thought that was really neat and also ties some of her history into all the way back to the first Resident Evil and who she was working for when she was trying to get close to John with the family and all that stuff. So uh, I liked it. I liked all the Ada stuff in the games. She's a really great character and I'm glad Lily Gao is going to portray this character. And again, it made me wonder about the timeline of this film. You know, is half of this movie going to take place in June, July of 1998? And then the Leon, Claire and uh, Ada half taking place three months later? Could they do that like a Tarantino style scary movie where they, you know, they're showing events and you think they're all happening at once, but then you find out that they're like three months apart or is this all just going to take place at once and they're just going to interweave all these storylines all at one time? I'm really curious to see how it's going to work out. <laughs> like, to be honest with you, how is she going to be trying to get a sample of the T-virus and the G-virus at the same time working for Wesker before and after his death? Or I think they'll probably just simplify it down to where while Wesker is with the STARS team in the mansion, he hires Ada to go get the G-Virus sample for him 
that could just be a way to simplify the story and, and get both of those plot threads in there and still make them work for one movie. So I guess we'll see. But I am curious, and uh, like I said, I am an Ada Wong fan, and so I'm really anxious to see what they do with her and uh, and what the you know the part's going to be because. I don't know how much filming Lily Gao has done, and actually some departments have already started rapping, and some actors have already started rapping, including some of the main actors. So we'll see, you know, we'll talk about that in future episodes. Um, you know, after I, I, get, I gotta get more rest, so I'm gonna record some Venom vlogs after this, and then I'm gonna try to rest. Uh, maybe I'll try to squeeze in one more of uh, Nemesis before the Venom vlogs, but um, yeah, I gotta get some rest. So hopefully you guys understand, um, but I will get to this stuff and we'll have some theories and we'll have, you know, have more talks and stuff in the near future. But I just wanna at least talk about Lily Gao because I talked about her. I set that up a couple times in pre recent episodes where I said I was gonna talk about her and I finally wanted to make an episode about Ada Wong and kind of show some clips from some of the games and, uh, and show off like how cool this character really is and why I'm excited to actually see her in a film and hope that she is portrayed better than just the hot girl in a red dress. She's a complicated character, and she was from the get-go. Like, right in Resident Evil 2, like, like I said, Leon and Claire. Claire's looking for her brother. Leon's showing up for the first day of the job. That is it. Two-dimensional in a lot of ways, because they want you, the character, you know, you, the, uh, the person, to play them as characters, and you play them through the game, and their missions are just to survive. Claire eventually meets Sherry Birkin, and she's like, all right, I want to save this child at the same time. So she has something to do other than just being someone who's just trying to survive. She's also trying to save somebody. So I like that. Uh, Leon has a little bit of that with Ada, but then Ada turns out to be, you know, kind of a bad guy in a way. Sure, more of an anti-hero later on. But uh, but so, yeah, so I, I like Ada as a character. And from Resident Evil 2, she was complicated, uh, more complicated than most of the other characters in these games and tied into the first game, which was really great. So She's kind of always been there, man, always since the, the, the beginning of Resident Evil, so in some way. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see her in the film, but I want to know what you guys think. Uh, what are your thoughts on Ada Wong as a character in general, and also Lily Gao playing the character? What are, you, you know, what are your hopes for this role for the, for the character? And uh, you know, how much of the movie do you think Ada will be in? Do you think she'll just kind of show up here and there? Do you think she'll actually be able to develop a relationship with Leon? Uh, I'm kind of curious, like, are Leon and Claire ever going to separate in their storyline? And is Chris and Jill ever going to separate in their storyline? Or do they have to, because they have to condense things, they can't really have these characters split up um, like they do in the games. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, let me know your thoughts down below. We'll continue our conversation as always down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you all in the future. Peace. Hold on. I think I can... Forget it. Shut up, I've got you. It's not worth it. Don't do this. Take care of yourself, Leon.